Well, cases of COVID-19 are increasing here in Indiana. This comes as the new Omicron variant is spreading across the country, but it hasn't been found in Indiana yet. State health officials are reporting another 5,500 cases. The number has been climbing ever since Thanksgiving. Another 41 Hoosiers have died. And many health experts say genomic sequencing is the answer to staying ahead of this virus. It allows scientists to look at the genome of the virus and see how it's evolving. Right now, a small percentage of COVID cases are being sequenced. 13 Investigates report Sierra Putnam learned this is a very complicated process. The process for genomic sequencing is complicated. For scientists like Dr. Aaron Ermel, an Indiana University assistant professor, test a sample for COVID. Place samples in this machine here. If there's enough viral load, RNA is extracted and sent to a different lab to go through a sequencer like this. The machine then uploads the data online for analysis. That process allows scientists to track mutations and identify variants like Delta and Omicron. IU Bloomington assistant professor Anna Bento works on the public health side of the issue. She says only a small percentage of cases are being sequenced in Indiana. 2.3 percent of the cases. So as you see, is a very, very small proportion of the reported cases. Ideally, we would have at least 50% of all cases in a given state. Right now, the United States sequences less than 3% of positive samples. According to a global database, in the last 90 days, the U.S. was sequencing about 29 cases per 1,000. Iceland leads the way, sequencing 482 per 1,000 cases. The U.S. is actually sequencing the most samples in the world. Our percentage of total cases is low because we're also reporting the most COVID cases worldwide. Health officials still say the best thing that you can do to protect yourself is to get that vaccine or a booster shot if you've already had the vaccine. And the FDA and CDC are expanding who can get a booster. They just approved the third Pfizer dose for 16 and 17 year olds. It's not clear at this time if younger teens will need a booster.